All right, Giants Nation. So I already know that a lot of you guys are happy about this win. And what I'm going to say is I'm happy too. And if I'm going to be honest, I feel like we should be two and one because that loss to the commanders last week, in my mind, never happened, except it did. And so we're not two and one, but we should be two and one because we were the only team in that scenario to lose that scenario, the first team ever. So we should be two and one. I wish I could say that we should be three and oh, but what I have found out and what I predicted, and I probably should have called it in week one, but the Vikings are legit. A lot of you guys, as usual, are hard on Daniel Jones because it's been six years and it wasn't six years that we, we asked for. Obviously, ownership is fine with him being the QB1. And a lot of y'all just don't understand that and you're not, you're not willing to accept that. But it is what it is. He is the QB1. He's had two weeks now where he's actually looked like a serviceable quarterback. And Watson looked terrible today. I understand he had two touchdowns, but he looked terrible. He looks worse than Daniel Jones. It's not even a, a comp. He's the worst quarterback. Him and, and Young, they're the two worst quarterbacks. Y'all boy, Caleb Williams, is not looking too hot either. He's not looking good. A lot of the uh, players that are playing with him, they're not happy. They said that rookie that they drafted, his dad was posting pictures that he's not getting you know passes thrown in his direction and he's open i saw a video of uh dj moore throwing a temper tantrum because caleb under threw the ball so i get it we have a six-year quarterback that's almost like a six-year rookie for some of you guys but it is what it is guys you knew this from from day one but enough about daniel jones we need to win this thursday night game because that's really going to change the temperature of how we feel about this New York Giants team because everybody going into this game was already saying the season's over since we lost to Washington. But now we beat the Browns and the Cowboys don't look good this year. They don't. They just got embarrassed last week. We'll see what happens with them. But they got a short week and we got a short week. This has to be the time where we beat the Dallas Cowboys because if I go back and look at the win-loss, I'm pretty sure they've won like eight or ten straight. And that's just unacceptable. Like now would be the time to take that game from the Dallas Cowboys because man, they, they've they been beating us up every year, every season. But I think it needs to end on Thursday. And after this win with, versus the Cleveland Browns, I get it, they don't have a good quarterback. And I get it, we don't have a good quarterback, but hey, if our defense can get to that Prescott, anything is possible. If Daniel Jones can limit his mistakes and not have any INTs, Anything is possible, but let me know how you guys feel about this win. Do you like this win? I've been seeing people say shady slash grimy stuff like, oh my God, we need to lose out and draft a new quarterback. Screw you, Daniel Jones, for getting this win or helping getting this win. Cause it really was a combination of uh, Devin Singletary, Daniel Jones, and uh, Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors took a, a ball from a DB. Like he took the jump ball from the DB I thought the DB had it and Malik said, nope, give me that. This is why you have a wide receiver one. A lot of you guys are saying that if we drafted a wide receiver one, it wouldn't make a difference because Daniel Jones is still the quarterback. Shut up.